Janet. But Tropical Storm Allison proved that hurricanes aren't the only storms to worry about. In 2001, Allison dumped over 38 inches of rain, causing over $5 billion in damage. Because we're not that far above sea level, normal rainfall could also cause flooding in many areas. So what can you do to stop the water from coming in? Please welcome Lou Waters. Yes, that's his real name. Lou Waters with Flood Break. Hello. Hello. Now, as they say, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. Mm -hmm. This became a necessity for you to basically invent this. That's right. That's right. Allison uh, flooded my house, flooded my garage, and I was out of town. Uh, came back to find it all gone, all damaged, and thought, well, there's got to be a way that I can take care of this. Yeah, that you're can a mechanical help me out. engineer. That's right. So it made sense for your mind to automatically. It started, say, you know, turning and working, and, yeah. and uh, this popped out. Okay, mm -hmm. tell us how this works. So it's basically a floating panel that lays in the ground. Uh, you drive over it, you walk over it, it sits at the entrance to your building. Yeah. So basically out of sight, out, out of mind. Out of sight, out of mind, that's yeah. exactly right. And uh, w But when a flood comes and the water rises in the street, then this panel just floats up out of the ground. Literally just, just floats on the water. There's no people involved, there's no power involved. It's completely automatic. Oh, that's pretty and, cool. And the faster the water comes, the higher the water goes, the more it floats up and the faster it floats up. Yeah, that's really, really cool. So you're talking about your house flooding, but this is a great thing for businesses, too, because it puts them out of commission. You are That's not right. working until exactly you get rid right. of all that water. Uh, how much, basically, it can handle just, just about any storm, any yeah, level? Yeah, basically, you design it for a certain level, and usually what we do is we design it to go past the level of a typical storm. So people talk in terms of a 100-year flood or a 500-year flood. Those are actually design heights for engineers. And so you design this thing to be bigger than you think you'll need. Yeah. So that, so that basically, you know, you don't go over the top of it. After we, you know, Allison went through, we saw the medical center yeah, and so exactly. much stuff that just went Absolutely. underwater. That research that was ruined and the whole bit. Mm -hmm. This is the type of thing that That's may have exactly that. That's exactly what this is for. And in fact, uh, when we got out there in the market with it, what we found was that it was really commercial buildings, hospitals, schools, critical infrastructure. That was the places it was needed, and that's where our business went. We're in the medical center now. We're at University of Houston. We're at a variety of, of commercial and government buildings around town. And yeah. let me say, made in Texas. That's right, made in Texas. So if someone is looking at getting this for a home or whatever, obviously any, any like your garages, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. any patio doors, areas where you would do entrances That's right. into the building, yeah. uh, how would they be able to, to get this done? Well, they'd call us. Uh, we, we basically custom size a gate for every opening. Okay. Uh, there's, we, we tried to make them standard, but there's never a standard yeah. opening. They're always different. And so, so we work individually on the building itself. We look at the problem. We look at the openings. We help people understand where the water might go, and, and we go from there. That's fantastic. Of course, with the last name Waters, you, you would right. come up with something like this. <laughs> sort of does so, support. Right. So thank you very much thank for you showing us. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. And that's one way for businesses to protect.